Hi friends, it's Fava Brooks here. How are you doing today? Thank you if you're here watching the replay. Thank you for watching. I'm Abuse Survivor Coach and I'm here five times per week helping, supporting, chatting with my fellow survivors on the healing journey after trauma or abuse. So what we do every day, we work our way through one day, one page at a time talk about it, ask some questions, share. So we'd love to have you join us anytime. Hey friends, how are you doing? Boom, 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 there you are. <laughs> how is everybody? Some hearts. Hey Nora, hey Sue. Welcome friends. Did I see you, Chrisanne? Or LaDonna? Surviving. <laughs> Some days it feels like that, right? I hear you, but I'm glad to hear. I saw on Facebook that you got out for a bike ride. That's more than I've done today. Today it's been raining, pouring rain and really kind of windy and gloomy out there. So I did yoga today, which was appropriate because my hamstrings were so tight, it was hurting when I was stretching, so it was good. So, so welcome, welcome, welcome friends. See some hearts, thank you guys so much for, for all, the, all the love, all the hearts. I was actually just Hey friend, I was watching or looking at my profile yesterday and it actually shows me how many hearts I've gotten. And I have to say guys, we're not a big group, but the love. <laughs> all right, LaDonna, we're glad you're here. Um, so all the hearts and the love I'm getting, the I was I have like hundreds and hundreds of thousands of hearts, you guys. <laughs> so Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Love it, love it. So how are you doing my friend Rob? Some serious hearts, exactly, exactly. So I was t tuning into some heavy hearts today. How are you guys? Fine, thanks, good, good, yeah. You're all hearts, aww. <laughs> well, I can also share my heart was um, a little tender this morning, and actually, I Sue caught me. I woke, I was up by four. Oh, rough day. Aww, I'm sorry to hear that, Ladonna. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, be gentle with yourselves. Streams were struggling a bit, but nature helped. Yes, I'm so glad that you guys got out in the nature because that is so often, I mean, it is so helpful. And, um, and just to move our bodies, like I was just before you got on here, Rob, I was sharing that <clears throat> it was pouring rain today, so I didn't go outside, but I, I did some yoga and I felt like I needed to stretch my body and so. Yes, LaDonna, thank you for being here and for being vulnerable and honest, right? To share exactly, exactly where you're at. So, and what I was about to say that I woke up super early this morning, like 4 a.m., bing, right? My brain just got in gear and off they went. So I was like, oh, come on. I did go to bed really, really early, so I, I kind of suspected I was gonna be up early and exactly wide awake. So I went um, on to Facebook. I was actually updating an event or something that's, uh, and Sue caught me and she sent me a message. Hey, Svava, you're up early, are you okay? <laughs> so I thought that was very sweet. Very sweet of her to check in with me. And I know. <laughs> 
And actually, I used the opportunity. I got my tea, and then I was sitting on the couch, actually chit-chatting with a friend in Iceland. So obviously, sometimes when I'm catching up with my friends, the time difference can be a little challenging. Um, but so, but then when Sue and I started chatted soon after, I fell asleep on the couch and slept for a little bit longer. Okay, so I'm not the only one, Sue, who's talking, talking and chatting with you at late hours. <laughs> yes. Yes, I do love those naps. I do. And I'm actually feeling kind of this weight in my body here now too. And I think I'm going to go early to bed tonight also. No, friend. I'm sorry. I do not speak French. I speak Icelandic. <laughs> that might come in handy here one day. That would be fun. No French. Sorry. Yeah, exactly. Rob speaks French. <laughs> so, guys, since I'm tuning into and feeling, um, yes, tiny bit, pinulite, we, we say, uh, <laughs> we say in, in Icelandic. So, you little, little English. Okay, you can hang out, of course. We'd love to have your company to hang out with us. We're just chit-chatting. But I wanted to um, ask for votes today because I know everybody is feeling the weight a little bit. If we should... Um, because today's topic is a little deep, right? I think you already all saw that, right? So we can we can talk about today, or we could I could pull out my cards and we can play with some cards, do tarot cards, and throw some extra support and encouragement and love on each other. So what do you guys want? What sounds like the right thing today? Cards. Cards, all right. Two cards already. Anybody else? I'm leaning. The cards are calling me already. They're across the room here. I need to stand up. Okay. Cards it is. I'm going to go grab them. I need to reach across my office. Okay. All right. See? I wasn't off with my intuition. All right, guys. Hold on. I also set the tone for us with my singing my singing bowl. All right, cards it is. We're gonna play, guys. We're just gonna park the book today. Thank you. Tomorrow is another day. <laughs> so, just give me a minute. I'm gonna shuffle the cards. And while we're sitting here, we're focusing on, like I said, just be intentional and a little bit of self-care and grounding and supporting, right? So if, if you're comfortable with taking three full deep breaths, then please let's do that together. If you guys don't mind, I'm going to put my feet on my floor here so I can ground myself to the floor and Mother Earth. And while I'm shuffling the cards, just feeling my back here on my chair. This is one of my happy chairs. One of the things that I did to celebrate myself and what makes me happy is to have soft furniture and pretty, I love flowers. So I bought these chairs for me because they made me happy. <laughs> And I have two of them. So that's that's what I'm always on the look lookout for these days. What makes Svava happy? What looks pretty? 
what like makes me go mmm when I see it or smell it or taste it, right? So, but let's start with our breath. If you feel comfortable, if not, you just sit and hang out, right guys? So let's do three full deep breaths. And as I'm inhaling, I'm being very intentional of pulling up support from Mother Earth, feeling her love and support for me. And then as I exhale, I'm going to blow out any weight, that any um, energy that I'm feeling is hanging here in my space or in my body that, doesn't, that I'm done with. I'm ready to let go. So inhaling, support, and exhaling. Letting go whatever was sitting on my shoulders today, whatever spinning was happening in my mind. Pulling in love and support from Mother Earth. And blowing. <sighs> Exhaling any thoughts or feelings or any energy that was clinging here somewhere because of what happened today or what I was feeling. And then one last one, pulling in through the bottom of your feet if you're comfortable. And exhale. Blowing all that tension, worry, expectations, assumptions, whatever is floating, just blow it out. Oh, that felt good. And now just find your normal breath again. So anybody, did anybody breathe with me and how was that for you? Any thoughts? Sue keeps coming in and out. Nice, LaDonna. Did that feel good? A little grounding. It's always good to notice. Notice how it feels in our bodies. Good, good. Just, we can start small, baby steps. Good. I know, Sue, I keep seeing you uh, popping in and out, so I'm sorry. Hang in there. Hang in there. Good. And so while we're sitting here and I'm shuffling the cards already, pulling in the energy from all of us, we're all asking for support. I had that yesterday. Okay, yeah, dropping in and out. That's probably why you're looking to change your service, um, Sue, because your phone service is unpredictable. So, hey friend, welcome, glad you're here. Today we're just gonna hang out and play with our cards. I do tarot cards for us. But before we go on to that, I'm asking all of us to be intentional right now, to drop into your hearts, if you're comfortable, right? And from our hearts, and we're gonna connect and link all our hearts. So I want you to check in with your heart and then, all right, my friend, that's good for you. I'm so glad, so good. So glad to hear that you managed to do that. Awesome news, awesome news. So I'm so glad that you're here. I hope you're being gentle with you today and that you feel safe and that you're hanging out with us. We're just gonna be sharing some love and support today. So everybody visualizing each other. I'm connecting with Nora's heart, I'm checking with LaDonna's heart, I'm checking in and connecting with Sue's heart, I'm checking in and connecting with Rob's heart. 
I haven't seen Chrisanne here or our new friend. I don't know your name, but I'm connecting with your heart and anybody that is watching the replay today. I want you to know I am sending love, light, and support. to anyone that is watching and looking and needing some support. Right here, right now. I see you, I feel you, I hear you, my friend, I hear you. I'm glad you're here and glad you're watching. Glad you're learning that you are worthy of support, that, that there are people that want to support you. You're not alone. You're not alone, my friend. So my heart just went up a few degrees, got a little bit warmer. <laughs> So I'm feeling all the love back from you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So on that note, I need one volunteer to go first. Who wants to go first? Who am I pulling cards for first? Ladies first, me, me. All right, LaDonna, since the baby is cooperating right now, okay? Good. Good, awesome. So we're asking the universe in this safe place for just the right message, just the right uplifting message, a little bit of hope and support for LaDonna right now. Let's see what we find. Ah, it's a good one. Are you ready? And you can screenshot them if you like. So how does that resonate, LaDonna? One day she woke up and decided to believe. We believe in you, right gang? We believe in LaDonna, for sure. And I see you starting to live out of this. Any thoughts? Yeah, for sure, exactly, exactly. One day she woke up and decided to believe. Yes. So does this resonate, LaDonna? Maybe you got your, got your little one there. Aww. Well, did you read my uh, Facebook post today? <laughs> I was writing about that. When we are, um, when we find our truth, when we hear the truth from other people or, or messages from the universe and it makes you cry, it's because you know in your heart of hearts, it's true. Hey friend, welcome. So I'm gonna screenshot this, the, the card and I will post it in the Facebook group so you guys can then uh, download them from there and maybe keep them on your phone or something, okay? All right, it was a good one. Anything else, LaDonna, that you wanna share? How this resonates? Not at this moment, that's okay. That's all right. That's all right. 
But I'm glad you got that card. It's a good one. It's a good one. All right. So who's next? Who wants to go next? One at a time. You're welcome. You're welcome. And it's also an option to pass, you guys. Oh, Torrance? Okay. Let's get a, do a card for Torrance. I'm game, for sure. I'm visualizing that, that beautiful, precious little girl, her, um, her spirit, her energy. She's sassy. <laughs> and I know she brings to you so much love and joy. She's a very, she's an angel in your life, and I know you know that, and uh, that's very clear to me, so. Wow, that's an interesting one. <laughs> Is she hard on herself? <sighs> so maybe little Torrance needs help with not being hard on herself. One day she decided to forgive herself. Oh, that just stirred my heart. So I'm sending a lot of love with this one. Mm. Yes. Yes, and I can feel it behind my eyes too. Oh, yeah. I can feel that behind my uh, my eyes. Those are those are my truth tears. <laughs> yeah, I love that name too. I love that name too. So awesome. So I'm glad she got a beautiful message too. Yeah, if you guys think about it, it's like even as how old is she? Five, right? Four, five. I will send that to you too. Um, even at that almost four, even at four years old, right? We feel like like some something we've done something wrong. I knew I at four years old, and it's it, we forget, right? Okay, I promise I wasn't gonna go in deep today, but I can't help myself. But how lucky she is to have you, LaDonna. How lucky she is to have you. And I know you, you I know she's a blessing. It, you know, you're a blessing to each other. So, oh, very sweet. Very sweet. Very sweet. Yes, so I'm saying, I'm not gonna go into uh, analyzing today. <laughs> You're so very welcome. You're so very welcome. So who was next, guys? I need a. I need to connect with the energy of the person who says yes. I'm ready. Yes, I'm next. Or pass. I'm not. I don't want a card. That's always an option too. All right, Rob. I like it. All right, sweet man. Tuning into your beautiful spirit. So glad that you're here and that you found us. So, so glad that you found us. You have been just such uh, an angel to all of us. Always so positive, reassuring, affirming. Just the sweetest, sweetest man. Yeah. Yes. We see you, my friend. We see you. We see you. All right, let's see what we find here. Make you blush. <laughs> Good. All right. Are you ready, my friend? It's a good one.
Yes, one day he decided to plant a garden of his own. So you've been feeling the nudge to plant a garden lately? And it can it can mean a lot of gardens, right? And it's like you're planting something new, planting a seed, right? Like what garden are you planting? Have you decided or are you maybe have you started already planting your own garden of some sorts? I'm curious, does it resonate? All right, chili seeds planned, but on a bigger level, yes. Good, good, awesome. So the universe is, is affirming sp spring feels like new plants. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. Anybody else feeling that lately? <laughs> There's a lot of like, Things are shifting like in a big way, it feels like. So, and planting seeds for a future happy garden. Awesome. Awesome. So, yes, aff affirmation from the universe. Exactly, where you have more control. Exactly, and happiness. Yes, there you go. Yep. You're, you're deciding, you're intending, you're putting it out there, you're starting to think that, right? What you want for yourself, intending it, sending it out into the universe. That's why our thoughts and our words are so powerful because we create. We are a powerful projector. We are super projectors. So... We are excited for you and your new garden, Rob. Keep us posted. So, I love it. I will take a picture and share with you. Yes, exactly. Exactly. That's beautiful. Yes. You're going into therapy tomorrow and a big step. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I just wanted to, to remind you, and I know you already know this, and anybody else that wants to chime in, anytime I started a new um, healing modality or went it and saw you know, a new professional for the first time or joined a new support group, hey, for the first year of my support group, um, where I was committing to going in to having some hard conversation, it was hard. It was hard. So we'll be with you. We'll be with you. You'll be on our minds and our hearts tomorrow. We are so happy for you that you're, you know, seeking this additional support, taking your power back, right? Sorting out what happened. You're not what happened to you, right? Exactly. What time is it tomorrow? So we can be 11.30 your time, okay? I'll be sleeping. So I'll, I'll send you some um, love before um, I go to bed. Because you were, well, I already have gone by the time we wake up here. So, but Sue will represent us. Exactly. <laughs> Sue will be awake. Okay, I guess the whole crew will be awake except for me. <laughs> we got some night owls here, right guys? So, but we're with you for sure, for sure, for sure. And let us know how it goes. And yeah, exactly. Nora, I, I knew you were going to chime in. So, so good for you. It's going to be okay and if you don't like him or her or something doesn't feel right 
then it's your prerogative to like, hey, I need to maybe see if I can find somebody else. So, awesome, awesome. Yay, support, support, support. All right, guys, who's next? Who's next? Yes, Rob, you're the customer. You are the customer. This is important work and we, we do not heal with someone we don't feel safe or connected to. And most good therapists know that no, they can't work with everybody and sometimes there's a person they, they won't connect with. So it's okay, my friend. We love you. Thank you so much for popping in here. Give Torrance a hug from all of us. <laughs> I'm glad you got to get a card. Awesome. So Sue and Nora, you guys want to pass today? Aww. That's so sweet. Your kitty. I'm not, I know there's a few of you here that have pets that show up like that, right? When they feel you guys. <laughs> so while you guys, Nora and Sue, are thinking about it or passing, yes, your cat is there, then I'm going to pull a card for myself. I did not pull a card today. My husband pulls a card almost every day. Um... It's very sweet. <laughs> Sometimes he's like, oh, that hooey wooey, <laughs> right? But then he secretly likes it. I know he does. He listens to me. <laughs> he listens. All right, what's a good card for Svava? These cards are always super helpful. Whoa, well, I've gotten this one before. It's a good one and it can mean a lot of different things, but here you go. It's a nice one, I love it. I am very rich. I'm rich in love. I'm rich in gratitude. I'm blessed by you guys. I am. I have uh, amazing children, right? I am very rich. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And I'm doing all right, you know, financially as well. But it, and it's been interesting. I'm going to be really transparent with you guys because. Um, it's interesting that I'm getting this card because I have been doing work around growing my business uh, because it's been interesting. I mean, I love what I do and it's so clear to me that this is the work that I'm here to do. And I don't know if I ever told you guys the story, but you know, whatever God, spirit, universe you want to believe in. But um, during a crisis, um, when I was in California before I met my husband, I got a very clear message that I was here for a, a big purpose. Um, it was like this booming voice when I was in the throes of a little bit of crisis that I'll tell you guys another time that I was asking, asking out loud, why me? And I was alone in the car and all of a sudden I was not alone in the car. And um, I got the message. It was so loud and clear I didn't dare ask again. <laughs> So, um, so growing my business is sometimes feels a little uncomfortable because it, this stuff comes so easy to me to be here with you guys and to love on you and to support you that it's, it's taking me a while to accept that it's okay to charge people for what you do. And so it's been an interesting theme and Lately, I've also been tapping into that uh, feeling valuable and worthy, of course, is a conversation we all know, being trauma survivors. And also that um, I tapped into my past generations 
like being, you know, being a woman and I tapped into my foremothers. I think I told you guys I did some work around this past week. And what came up so, so deeply from these women that for generations have been abused and, you know, disrespected and, you know, we don't have to talk about all, all the things that women have suffered, but I could really feel them. But then at the same time, they were so clear in giving me the message that how valuable I am to them because I, both I can hear and feel them now and I'm stopping the cycle of something huge, right? And they really brought me the message of that is, is so valuable, right? Incredibly valuable, incredibly powerful. So, so yeah, so I feel like this is perfect for me. This is something I've been working, working on and that it's, it's okay to, to, to make a living doing what you love to do, right? <laughs> So, thank you. This this was a good card for me today. I be, uh, love it. I love it. So, yes, exactly. <laughs> it's a win-win, right? Exactly, and that's the thing that I get. I know. I I know. I can help people, and as as I am doing that and I love doing it and I would much rather work with someone who absolutely loves and is passionate about what they do instead of someone who's like ho-hum about it, right? Yeah, I know you get it. I know you get it. So, so Nora and Sue, I just don't wanna leave you guys out but I'm getting kind of the, the hint here that you guys don't want a card today and that's okay, I really honor. Okay, Nora, if you want, all right. I'm not gonna assume anything but I don't wanna be putting the pressure. Okay, Nora, you're next, you're next. Real, recognize, real, exactly. Exactly. Yes. And that's definitely, you know, I try to be very authentic and, and real with you guys. I don't try. I am. Um, and I, I know to many of my fellow survivors, just like I needed someone that gave me, um, gave me uh, permission before that I'm passing that forward. So all right, I'm gonna just block here. That's blocked. Okay, no worries. <laughs> no judgment or not at all. I know you're multitasking sometimes, so but thanks for letting you thanks for letting me know. Thanks for letting me know. So all right, Nora, I'm shuffling the deck for you. Tuning in. Asking for the perfect supportive message that you need for your journey, where you are right now. And let's see, isn't that a good one? Sometimes this happens. And I saw some pictures on your Facebook today, weren't you working in the garden? <laughs> so can you relate? One day she decided to plant a garden of her own. So how does that resonate for you? What does that what does that mean for you? Yes. <laughs> yes. Good. Good. I love nature as as you guys know. I I I'm really proud that I've gotten you all outdoors. <laughs> Some of you were already, of course, already, but um, to go out in nature um, because there's just so 
much we can learn from nature and the nature gives us and exactly growing your future exactly there's there's much that this can mean but it's like what does it mean for you it's like what how does that resonate to what's happening in your life so beautiful those these cards are so fun so fun i got them for uh they were a birthday present a few years ago all right sue i hear you my friend i hear you we'll pull a card for you too um but i i, I hear you nora i thought about that too for you you're kind of in the beginning of your journey in, in some ways even though you you obviously too have been doing a lot of work um and the work that exactly exactly we are going to be planting some seeds you know planting 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 <laughs> building you know a garden here that you I know you will be you know enjoying the fruits from that garden for from for years to come for years to come so and I see all of us as a garden you guys I see all of us we are a garden of support. Yes, exactly. Woohoo! Love the flowers. Love the flowers. Beautiful. Yes, exactly. Yes. All right, Sue, my friend. Thanks for your email earlier. I will reply probably by tomorrow. I really appreciate it. Yes, drum roll, Sue. We're tuning in to your heart, connecting with your body, your spirit. You've been outdoors a lot today. Walk and a bike ride, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Well, isn't this an interesting one? Are you ready? Sometimes there are themes when I pull these cards. And what do you think? Yes, Sue. <laughs> Definitely a good one. One day she woke up and decided to believe. Yes. Yes. I see your back, my friend, LaDonna. So, yes. Exactly. She still believes, exactly, exactly. Hey, Jeremiah, hey, friend. So any thoughts, Sue? I know you're feeling a little quiet today. So it's okay. You're just gonna let that sit with you. Mm, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. So hey, Jeremiah, we are doing something different today. Everybody was feeling a little uh, worn out emotionally and just lots going on in our world lately and we've been digging deep. So today we are doing cards. I'm pulling cards. So since you just joined us, everybody has gotten a card, but I'm happy to pull one for you if you're wanting to play. So just wanted to wrap up here with Sue. Just pulled a beautiful card for her. And it's interesting how these, they're kind of like, you can call them tarot cards or they have little affirmations that are really supportive, very positive. Um, but um, I just wanted to say to all of you guys that, you know, I when I started pulling cards like these specifically with positive hopeful messages it really helped to train my mind 
to start to focus on you know what we what I could do what was the support that was available right to focus on the hope instead of because as we know the reason some of us are feeling a little you know um, our hearts are a little tender right there's been a lot going on in our lives right and sometimes if we've been stuck there for a long time or we're working through things from the past, our brain um, can, you know, it's so much easier for the brain to stay and, you know, kind of the, the rumination of those negative thoughts and beliefs. Um, so, and I, I know I keep sharing that here. So looking for these things to you know, to, to focus on, to choose the hope, to choose the positive messages. I mean, my whole house is, is filled of, you know, either cards like these or, you know, oils that, you know, smell good. I know it is hard to get out of the rut, but it's, as we've talked about, and everyone here knows, it's, you know, the only way out is, is through it. And it's like the part of us that we're shifting out of all, it needs to be reclaimed almost, like really needs to be seen and heard and validated before we can shift out of it. So just want to encourage all of you guys to know that there, the shift comes. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, and sometimes we just can't see it because it's, there's a bend in the tunnel, right? It's not just a straight shoot that there is a bend and you're just about to reach the corner just to, to actually see the light. Um, but things do get better, things do get easier. And exactly, exactly. We have to believe you too can feel better. You too can find peace. That this goes for all of you guys, you know, it's like for a long time for me to believe that because I believed I was bad and shameful and ugly and stupid that for me to, to start, you know, speaking up, you know, being my authentic self felt incredibly risky in the beginning of my journey. Um, even just speaking up at my family table, right? Oh good Rob, I'm glad that it helps. I'm glad that it helps because I, I'm a visual too. It's like I need pictures. I need to see things that I can see and almost put my fingers on. If I don't see it in my mind's eye, it's it, I'm in trouble. I believe it's possible more than ever. I know there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Look at Svavas, you made it through. Yes, exactly guys. Hey, I'm nothing special and I'm not speaking down to myself. I'm not pushing myself down, but I'm here to tell you guys, if I can do this, you can do this. That's like, and my heart sings here as I'm saying this, because I know we all come, right? Equipped, ready and roaring to go to live a magnificent life in this body this body that it was given to us so we can feel the range of emotions and the, the set, use all our senses. That's part of being human, right? Um, but we just got a little lost along the way and now we're just getting back to it and getting back to it and getting back to it and getting back to it, right? <laughs> out, of the, out of the old rut that we've been in for a long time because that's we felt safe down there in the rut. It was we got to stay covered up but now it's like we're pulling ourselves up out of the rut I'm gonna build a garden right there right guys and start to believe that when we plant those seeds that they're gonna grow because we're gonna water we're gonna love on them and they're gonna grow so awesome 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 beautiful cards all right Jeremiah are you ready Check, check, and check. Nice, my friend. <laughs> All right, Jeremiah, I'm just gonna pull here in my deck. I'm just connecting with you and asking. Don't know what you believe in. You know, universe, spirit, whatever. That 
we are going to get a message that are supportive and helpful for you wherever you are on your journey. It's always perfect. All right. Can you see? So one day, my friend, one day he woke up and decided to love himself. Yes, he decided to love himself more than he ever thought possible. What do you think? Are you working on some self-love, self-compassion perhaps? Love is really the bottom line here, you guys. What we talk about, it's all about love. Good, nice. So you are getting a gentle mind reminder from the universe. We hear you, we see you. Beautiful, excellent. Excellent. Loving my true self. Yes. High five, gang, right? He found us. <laughs> That's what we're all working on. And it's clearly the right path. And whoever is there supporting you, they got the message. They got the message. So, wonderful. Love it. I love, 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 right? Awesome. Well, this was fun, my, my friends. You're welcome. You're so very welcome. So glad you're here, that you popped in. Yeah, we, we, we took a vote when we started. I could, you know, see from, because we, we have a closed Facebook group too, where I post the page for the day and people then share their journaling and I was sensing exactly I was sensing people were you know a little stirred up hearts today so people needed a break instead of another day of maybe digging deep so we took a vote and I've done this before so we decided just to hang out and play and encourage and support one another so is there anything else we can support you with, Jer uh, Jeremiah, where you are today? We're so glad you're here and that you keep coming. Guys, we must not be that scary. He keeps coming. <laughs> I'm just joking. You're very welcome. Very, very welcome. Very welcome. Glad you're here. This is a supportive group. Yes, we are. Exactly. Yes. And that was fun. Yes, I do have some other cards, so we could change it up. We could change it up next time. But these, these are always perfect. So, um, I wanted to know my definition of the ego. Got it. You know, the vibe is pure love. Yes, yes, it is. It is, yes. Well, Jeremiah, it's a great question. Um, I'm gonna, you know, do a rain check on that one. <laughs> I would be happy to talk about it more next time with you. I think it would quickly take us a little deeper than I feel like our, um, our, our group is ready for at this point, but it's a really good question. Yes, we can talk about it in the future. Absolutely. And I would love to hear your thoughts about it and anybody else's too. So, but keep bringing your questions, Jeremiah. We really appreciate it. Excellent questions. I'm, I'm, was, I'm always asking questions like, why? Why does that work? What do you mean? Why is that, right? All that good stuff. Yes, I try to simplify things though, as you guys know. I don't go into all the multiple layers. I try to just really keep it simple. Simple is easy, right? The more we get into our head about it, trying to analyze it, we're, 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 we're missing the point a little bit, I think so. But thanks for today, guys. Everybody be really gentle with yourselves for the rest of the day. Really be 
gentle with yourselves. It takes a lot of courage to be here and to be on the journey. I'm so grateful for you guys all, all the time. You're welcome. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.